everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. And it is about 17, 18 degrees right now, freezing cold, but I knew it was coming. Um, I'm staying warm and toasty overnight, though, so that's not a problem. I'm filming this on Sunday, so starting at about noon, we're going to start getting snow. And it's supposed to snow throughout the rest of the day, and I guess to the wee hours of Monday morning, um... And they're expecting, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight inches. Um, I've heard 10 inches. I don't know if we're actually going to get that much snow, but there's some things I've got to do. Uh, I got to tend to the chickens. I'm going to let them out a little bit earlier today because I want them some outdoor time um, before it starts snowing. I'm not going to, I'm going to try and discourage them from free ranging. I'm going to try and keep them in the yard so I can usher them back into the coop when it starts getting really bad because it stays pretty warm in that coop. Um... It, uh, because I do the deep litter method, that creates heat, So, but their water is still freezing. So I'm going to have to take the little hanging waterer thing out because uh, that just freezes. It's got that little ring around the bottom of it, you know, and that freezes and prevents any water from coming out. So I'm going to just take a dish pan out there and use that. And um, I think it'll be easier for me to manage because I can just break the ice off of the top of it. And they still got a little water underneath, but it's hard, hard to keep those little, those waterers from freezing. So I'm going to take some warm water out today and, uh, defrost the, the, um, little waterers and take a dish pan out there and let them drink water out of that. Give them plenty of food. I'm going to actually cook them some oats and some feed and just a mixture that's kind of warm to warm them up a little bit. Um, I was actually a little bit terrified because... It's just going to get so cold, but I'm reassured by the research I've done. I think the chickens are going to be just fine in that coop. Um, it's going to be hard for the next few days because they're not going to have a whole lot of freedom. And I don't have a bunch of hay um, and whatnot to scatter over the run right now um, to keep their little feet off of the snow, you know. Um, but from what I've read, they're going to be just fine. You know, it's supposed to get down to nine uh, maybe even seven degrees, but, uh, you know, they've got full feathers and they've been doing fine thus far. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that everything goes okay. I got to bring some more water in. I got to bring some more wood in. Um, I, I just got to get going. Whew. Yeah, this is a priority. Good thing I got one of these. Makes the job a lot, a lot easier. Oh, it is so cold out here. You would not even believe it. Oh, my lips are like practically frozen together. All right, let me get this done and then take care of the chickens. Wow, that's a little bit better. There's just a very fine mist of snowflakes coming down. I imagine I'm probably going to have to do this several times tomorrow. Oh, I'm scared, you guys. I made them kind of like a gruel. It's got oats in it. It's got some tuna, some flaked salmon. And I know some people say that makes the eggs take, taste funny, but I haven't found that. Uh, some cream corn, and I heated it all up. And they think it's delicious. I taste it, and I actually kind of like it myself, but I wouldn't eat it every day. Yep, they're eating it. Just a little bit of something to get their bellies warm. See that? Totally frozen, totally frozen. So I've brought this out. This is the water bowl, the dog water bowl. I'm going to use a smaller bowl for Papa right now because it's just him. Um, so hopefully that'll stay unfrozen for a little while. And I'm going to put a little bit more bedding in. Oh, look at that block. It's not a very big one. Tractor Supply has been sold out of the, the pine shavings, you know, the big bags. And I don't like the very fine pine shavings. So I'm putting just a, another layer of that in to the coop just to kind of give them a little extra warmth. I'm inside the coop and it is noticeably warmer in here. So that's a good thing. Uh, gonna put some of this down and look at, look at who's in there. Is that Miss Pris? You gonna lay me another egg? I already collected three leghorn eggs so far. So maybe I'll get a couple more. It's pretty early. It's not even 9 a.m. yet. So we'll just wait and see. That's a little bit better. Not as much as I would have wanted to add, but They've got quite a bit of bedding in here, and there's no odor, so that's good. Miss Pris is still down there. The other brown hens, the, well, the brown egg-laying hens came in here, and I think they all want to start laying eggs because I've gotten no brown eggs yet, so I'll come back out and check later. Since they weren't laying in these little nesting boxes in the van, 
I pulled one out earlier, but I noticed one of the leghorns was roosting up on it, so I pulled both of them out here to give them enough room. And they've also been roosting up on their little roost there, so at least they can have a choice of being outside, roosting in here, or going inside the van and roosting in here. Just because I'm gonna try and keep them in the yard, I found these on sale at Tractor Supply Company, otherwise I never would have bought them. They are merry minnows, dehydrated minnows. I'm gonna throw them out in the yard. I already know they love them. And uh, hopefully they will stay in the yard a little bit longer. Whew. I'm out here splitting wood into smaller pieces. And I got all this going on. Oh, I bet you Miss Pris. <laughs> and I've named her that. I bet she just laid an egg. Let's go see. Where's Coco? Who's making all that noise? Is that you, Roxy? I bet she wants to lay an egg and that other hen is in there and she's getting upset. Come on, Roxy. You can come on out. You'll get to lay your egg next. Whew. I split some more wood up. All different sizes because all I've got is big pieces. And that's not good if you've got a little wood burning stove like I do. you got to have some small, some bigger. So I split up all that and those I did them right here on my front porch and it's all going inside the house well I got some more kindling all of this area is filled up with wood I've got some underneath the wood burning stove I've also made a ton of fire starters I'm gonna make some more today yeah this little post office tote is serving another purpose I brought more wood in uh, this is gonna be used last because it's so cold I'm just gonna keep the Fiskars out because I have a feeling I'm gonna be using it some more Whew, I'm back inside now it is so cold yeah, so it's only about 10, 15 or so. I haven't even finished my coffee yet, but noon is when the fireworks are supposed to start, basically. It's supposed to be coming down pretty hard. Uh, so I wanted to get all that done. Um, the main priority was the chickens, and they're going to be fine. Um, I think noon or shortly afternoon, I'm going to usher them back up into the van. I'm going to leave a window crack for ventilation, but it stays real warm in that van, and I'm going to bring the water tub into the van. They're going to get stuff in it. I don't care. Um, I just want them to have water and I'll check it again tonight before it gets dark to make sure it's not frozen and I can guarantee you it's going to be frozen. Um, I did want to tell you guys, <laughs> Margaret Heathcote sent me another little letter and there was a little donation, a nice donation in it. And because of you, Margaret and Karen, with your recent cash donations, I was able to go to Tractor Supply Company and buy a second 20-pound propane tank. So now I have a half-use propane tank. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I filled them both up that same day. Um, and I've used part of one, and then I've got another full one. So I'm going to be just fine. You guys are looking out for me. Thank you so much. Anyhow, um, well, I'll go check the eggs again in a little bit and let you know what happened there. It's 12 noon at the tiny house. Yup, these solar panels are already covered up again. I gotta go check on these chickens. We got Patsy, sister, and haven't named the other one yet. We got Coco. We got Miss Briss, Roxy, and the beautiful Romeo. Look at, look at, it's starting to get a little bit wider. Well, I'm gonna go check the eggs and uh, check their water. Hopefully it's not totally frozen yet and get them all up into the coop before it really starts coming down. I got two more eggs. That's perfectly fine. Yep. Look at that water. It's frozen. Let's see. Ah, it's easy to break. I'm just going to get up that ice off of there and put that up into the coop. Give them some more food and say good night, sisters. The chickens are in safe and sound. I've got a fire going. I'm going to make a big pot of something really super warm and delicious. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Uh, I will check on the chickens one more time before dark to make sure their water hasn't refrozen over. I've put more food inside the coop. They've got their their hanging continuous feeder with the uh, layer pellets in it. Um, and I put some more food in there too. But I'll check again before it goes nightfall and make sure. I'm going to put some corn in there. Uh, they love that right before bed and it keeps them warm digesting it all night long. Um... So that's it for today, you guys. I'll let you know how the big snowstorm goes tomorrow. <sighs> it's going to be scary. It's going to be cool, though. I don't remember it being this cold last year. It was cold, but not this cold. And remember last year, I had just got the tiny house around this time. 
and I was sleeping in it without any insulation. So the fact that I'm sitting here with a roaring fire and insulation tells me that it is definitely colder this year. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.